National Institutes of Health, as well as major new funding for brain research and a new initiative to discover ways to prevent and cure Alzheimer's disease. In addition, this bill allocates nearly $1 billion from the Prevention and Public Health Fund, which I created in the Affordable Care Act, Title IV, which I was in charge of drafting. Now, there's been some confusion about this fund uh, in the news report, so let me correct the record. In the past years, resources from the fund have been diverted to other health care purposes. This year, however, this omnibus allocates 100% of the resources from the fund to prevention and wellness activities. Now, it's being reported that the omnibus cuts or eliminates the fund. I read that in the paper this morning, that the prevention and wellness fund was cut by a billion dollars. Well, that's just not so. <laughs> that's just a misinterpretation. Believe me, if it had cut a billion dollars from prevention and wellness, I wouldn't be here supporting the bill. Uh, Section 219 of Division H of this bill allocates the money. So that's what we did. Far from eliminating the money, we identify where that money is to go, including $160 million for immunization programs, $104 million for cancer screenings, $105 million for smoking cessation programs, and on October 1st, another appropriation of $1 billion will be deposited in the fund under the Affordable Care Act. And again, I intend to allocate the fund then just as we did in this omnibus. If there's any doubt in anyone's mind that the fund is alive and well and fulfilling the purpose for which it was originally intended, consider this. The American Public Health Association has praised this omnibus bill specifically for allocating the prevention fund. And they said, and I quote, we are also pleased that the bill fully allocates available funds from the Prevention and Public Health Fund for the first time, end of quote. So again, as the author of that fund, I consider the allocation of these resources to prevention and wellness as a major achievement in this bill.